keep your vibration and your frequency attuned when you're in big cities or around a large gathering of people and I don't know about you but I'm sensitive and so sometimes when I'm around a large group of people actually even if I go into like a Walmart sometimes I can feel a little bit um, uneasy or at least in the past I did so part of staying in vibrational alignment is keeping your frequency attuned. And of course, meditation is a, a great way to do it. Breathing, breath work, there's all kinds of different techniques to do that. But when you're walking through a very noisy casino with all the energy, with the people that are partying it up, and the noise, it can sometimes be just a little overwhelming. Um, but here I am outside in a beautiful courtyard. You might hear um, some city noises. I don't know if you do or not. Um, I've kind of learned to block that out myself and just enjoy the beauty of the sunshine, the greenery that's around me, and finding just a little place of peace. So the first thing I do every morning, regardless of where I am, is I listen to frequency music. My frequency music of choice is Ted Winslow, and there's lots of reasons for that. And um, basically because I've experienced and my friends have experienced um, healing from his music. I also use it with my hypnosis method, with WellPoint Spiritual Hypnosis Method. And I've been using this music for um, consistently for about a year and a half. However, whatever kind of music that you resonate to, um, I'm not trying to tell you what to listen to, but music is just one of the best ways for myself to uh, get into vibrational um, attunement. Anyway, I guess the point of all of this is even if you're in Las Vegas and um, into the material world of gambling and drinking, partying, whooping it up, <laughs> shopping, all these uh, materialistic fun things, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. Going to shows, going out with large groups of people, and you can still have calmness and serenity and uh, anchor yourself and, and retune yourself after you've been out in such a place with all the flashing lights and, and sounds and all of that. Myself, I do not drink alcohol anymore. Um, I used to, and I just wasn't a very uh, good drinker. My hair would get drunk. I just wasn't able to um, have one drink uh, or two drinks. So I stopped drinking years ago, but that's just me. I still have amazing fun uh, without it. But you know, when you're around people that are drunk or drinking, sometimes you can get thrown off a little bit. But I rarely do anymore. Um, I just stay in observer mode, in a, an amusement, and understand that, hey, I used to do that too, <laughs> out of judgment. So today I just wanted to speak to wherever you are, you can have your serenity and you can have your wild times too. And um, just remember to practice breathing is one, uh, listening to frequency music, get your frequency and your vibrational, uh, personal vibrational attunement. Um, in order. I just recommend doing it first thing in the morning. 
but if say for example I go out today and I'm in around a bunch of people and maybe somebody's screaming or um, I walk through a really busy casino and all of a sudden I feel a little off I just pop in my earphones and listen to one or two uh, songs by Ted Winslow and immediately I sink and I call that sinking my frink. <laughs> and it's easy to do once you've got your attunement and your brain entrained and your heart entrained uh, to your own personal uh, vibrational attunement. It's so easy just to sync, like you would sync your iPhone and update. Uh, so um, I was thinking maybe just to do a really short um, meditation here. And my favorite thing to do is to go to what I call my garden. Now my garden is my own imaginary safe spot and I often will take my inner child there. If I'm afraid of anything, say I have to go to the dentist and I'm afraid of getting a shot. I don't like needles. Well, basically that's my inner child that's afraid. My adult self knows that the dentist isn't going to hurt me. The shots don't even hurt. But sometimes just seeing that needle will kind of scare me. And so I scare the inner child. So I have learned to just breathe and close my eyes. And I tell the dentist, hey, don't worry if I start to breathe a couple of deep breaths. I'm not hyperventilating. I'm going to my safe spot. So I will close my eyes, I'll take a couple of deep breaths, and then I just imagine that I am leaving my body. And I will look down, and say I'm in the dentist chair, and I will look down at my body sitting safely in the dentist chair, and I'm kind of this little floaty, wispy uh, soul body, is what I call it. And on my website, you'll see pictures of uh, very uh, beautiful gardens and these kind of see-through uh, etherical people and so that's kind of a little bit of a visual if you want a visual of what a soul body might look like but you can be whatever you want like if your soul body looks like an elf or a fairy or it's an animal or you know whatever is kind of fun for you mine has like super long hair all the way down to her legs and a wispy green dress and I mean it's just my own imagination so I take my soul body out and I go upstairs. A lot of people go downstairs. <laughs> I don't know why, but I go up. And at the top of the stairs, there's a key on the wall. And that opens a door. Doors are always kind of fun to, you know, open up a door into my beautiful, magical garden. Now, my garden has everything. It has a pond, it has a waterfall, there's some mountains, and over the mountains is the ocean, if I decide I wanna to go to the ocean. And then there's always my beautiful tree. And I'm not gonna tell you what my tree looks like because I want you to create your own tree, your own garden. Maybe you wanna to go to a desert. Maybe you open the door and you're in a beautiful desert with gorgeous red rocks or it's just like whatever your sacred spot looks like to you. And so I go into my garden and I find my tree and I sit under my tree and I lean back against my tree and then I will feel the beautiful sun or it could be the moon. It depends on, you know, your imagination. If you want moonlight, that's fine, but it's light and the light comes through the tree branches and shines upon me and if you've ever been in a redwood forest or seen pictures of sun rays coming down through the forest and shining upon a spot or gone and stand in that in that spotlight it's just an amazing uh, feeling and so when I sit under the, my tree in my magical garden my safe spot then I feel this beautiful light coming down and I feel breathe in this light and to me this is the light of God this is the God light and it permeates and fills up every part of my body so I have a special meditation that was divinely guided to me um, and I'm gonna produce it soon it's called the seven rose uh, chakra uh, meditation so that's coming soon and I just got to figure out and um, how to get some music to go with it and uh, anyway, I just take in this beautiful light and just 
relax. And so I can do this very quickly because I've done it for years and years and years. I call it popping out of my body, da, 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 up the stairs, take the key, open the door, under the tree, zip. I mean, I can get there like super fast. Um, so like if I am in the dentist chair and they're getting that needle prepared, I'm like, okay, here I go. <laughs> I'm popping out. But for anybody that's beginning, it might be just something that you practice. You just first practice what it feels like to just leave your body. Just close your eyes and imagine that you're looking down at your own body and that you're a little soul body. And you can start there. And what does my soul body look like? And, and of course, you can change that too. And then you can practice going up the stairs and what your stairs look like. And you always want to kind of keep it the same. What's your key look like? Like maybe you have a remote door. <laughs> Maybe you don't use a key. Maybe you have a fob, you know. It's really your own um, experience. I don't want to tell you how to do it. Mine's like an old fashioned key with a big old doorknob and this big old giant door. I mean, that you can do whatever you want to it, however you want to access your special, beautiful place and whatever that looks like. So I'm gonna stop there and um, I think I'm just going to take a couple of deep breaths and go to my beautiful magical garden and get myself uh, attuned, sink my feet, taking a deep breath in and out. Going up the stairs, 10 stairs, and as I go up, I'm completely relaxed, breathing up to the top of the stairs, two, three, four, breathing in, five, six, seven, I see the top of the stairs, I see my key, eight, nine, opening my door in my beautiful garden. The animals, the birds, everything is peaceful as I walk towards my beautiful tree. Sitting under my tree, I lean I feel the beautiful sun rays, the sunlight of the spirit filling up my body. Every cell is permeated and with each breath I breathe in this beautiful light. well all is beautiful feeling my vibration sinking attuned now but it's stand walk back towards my door. The door is open. I take the key out. I put it back up on the hook and I know that this garden is here for me wherever and whenever I want to come back. I go back down the stairs, 10, 9, 8, breathing, 7, 6, 5, Four, feeling my body, which is heavy and soft. Three, two, one, back of my body, I open my eyes. So that's a very quick one. <laughs> I just kind of wanted to give you a really short and quick 
idea of how I um, leave my body really quickly and do a short, you know, attunement if I get feeling out of sorts from being around, you know, large crowds or um, high energy or big city noises and come back to peace. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this and it's been so wonderful just letting you know that, you know, you can meditate wherever you are. You can readjust yourself and it's just easy and fun. All right, I hope you enjoyed this and until next time.